Alhamdulillah, wa salatu salam ala Rasulillah. Another version of Al Fatiha in motion. This is the Jersey City version. Uh, we got Suhail al Saadawi. He's going to be reciting. We got Dr. Salman, Muhammad Salama, and Muhammad Hilmi in the back providing Yo. backup acoustics. All right, so you're just going to start every verse and stop at every verse. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Jesus and Mark said this sign shall follow the believers, a sign that will separate the true from the deceivers. They'll cast out devils in the Lord's name. So when reciting God's words, that's what we proclaim every single time, that we seek refuge in Him from Satan the cursed and outcast. And so we begin. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. In the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Allah pronounced A double L, exhale with love, Allah, the creator of the earth and the heavens, the one deserving of our love, obedience, and reverence, who's Ar-Rahman. He's the one who in his mercy is extreme, and so his mercy extends to all places, things, and beings. Take the most wicked individual you can imagine in the land, and he's still drowning in the mercy of Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahim is the one whose mercy goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamd is beautiful praise with all of its values, levels, all of its ways, not because of any favors bestowed or anything that's owed, but because he is who he is. And so he is the one deserving of that praise. Rabb means the master and sustainer, nourisher, creator, developer, maintainer, and Allah is as such for his divine construction. So praise is the most appropriate introduction to the conversation that will now take place between the master and his slave face to face. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Those two names were already explained and that should suffice but just take note that those attributes of mercy are both mentioned twice. How the people think the Lord we worship is oppressive I don't know when every day he bestows on us grace and we don't deserve it though. Maliki Yawmiddin The master of the day of judgment. And he's the master of the day of judgment in particular because on that day no challengers and no competitors. None shall speak, not even the whisper. The terrors of that day will be enough of an inhibitor for that is the day where the kings fall silent and the powerful are humbled and every violent tyrant will be exposed to be but a flesh and bones and along with all pretenders be humbled to watch the throne. You alone do we worship, you alone we seek for aid. And worship is everything that Allah loves for his slaves. Not just the rituals like fasting and charity and prayer, but the habitual, your daily routine down to the very care that you show to your loved ones or perfecting your work at your job. If your heart is watching him can all be part of your worship of God. But the only one deserving of perfect adoration and love with fear and submission is the Almighty above. And when no one is there, he'll be there for you. Call upon him, he'll take care of you. <laughs> guide us to the straight path, meaning guide us to it, and guide us while we're on it, so we never lose it. The straight path is one, crooked paths are many, light is one, and darkness plenty. Righteousness is to recognize that this is your most oft-repeated request for the scholar and his page, the ignorant and the sage, and everyone in between is constantly in need of guidance to their dying breath. They know the dangers of self-delusion, so they fear it. So self-righteousness is to think yourself guided from years ago. The path of those you've blessed from before, the, the prophets and the truthful and more. The righteous and those who bore witness to the truth by giving their lives in an instant. Not the path of those who earned your anger or those who went astray earned your anger by knowing the truth and rejecting it or going astray by never knowing it at all, never detecting it. What you've just heard recited are the most oft-repeated words in human history. No passage, no hymn, no prayer is spoken more frequently on more lips, nor memorized in more hearts than this. 17 times a day, every time that we pray, this is what we say. This is what we say. Al-Fatiha. Allahu Akbar. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Assalamu alaikum from Jersey City. Oh, <laughs>